Hey weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving. I recently had someone ask about using a different reed than what's called for in a pattern. Good quality reeds are very expensive, and if you have a wide loom like I do at 56 inches, a 15 dent reed will cost close to $300, and I may use it once or twice a year. I think that weavers need to have a couple of reeds, and the one I tend to use the most are an 8 dent, 10 dent, and a 12 dent, with 10 probably being the most I use. So I thought I'd demonstrate how to use a reed substitution chart to get the most out of the reeds you already have. These charts are published by many different sources, and, you, and they can be found online by googling reed substitution chart. I've also put a link to the, in the description below to the one that I use. On the read substitution chart we're looking at, you have across the top, in bold numbers, the most common sizes of reads available. 15, 16, and 18 are for really fine yarn, and most people aren't going to be using those. Under each number is a column with other numbers progressing from small to large. Those numbers are all the possible ends per inch that you can get from that reed if you slay it in different ways. The next thing you'll notice is a set of numbers out in the left-hand column. This is the numbers that tell you how to slay the reed to get the ends per inch in the reed. Let's say you have a 10 dent reed and you want to weave at 15 ends per inch. You'd follow the numbers down to find 15 and then follow to the left to find out the pattern that you would slay. In this case, you would slay two threads in one dent and then one thread in the next dent, two threads in the third dent, one thread in the fourth dent, and so on and so forth until you finish all of your threads. Likewise, if you had the same 10 dent reed and you want to thread at or weave at five ends per inch, you would go down to five across and you would slay every other dent in the reed with one thread. So you'd have one, a blank, one, a blank, one, a blank. Those two examples are easy to figure out without a chart like this. But let's say you wanted to weave seven ends per inch. That's a bit trickier. With the chart though, you can see that 10 dent reed slayed at seven ends per inch. You would slay one, one, and then a blank. One, one, blank, one, one, blank. With this chart, you can see that with only two reeds, say an eight and a 10, you can weave a wide range of sets with only a few ends per inch numbers skipped. So you have three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half, eight, nine is skipped, 10, 11, 12, 12 and a half, 13, and so forth, all the way down to 50 ends per inch. That's a lot of ends per inch, and that's very fine thread. Keep in mind, however, that while you can weave five per ends per inch in a 15 dent reed, the, with the bulky yarn will not fit through the tiny dents, and you'll likely get a braiding on, the, on your yarn. However, you could use a 10 dent reed to slay every other dent and get five ends per inch. And that's pretty safe. You can also see that with a 10 dent reed, you can slay three ends per dent and get 30 ends per inch. So that's pretty handy. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and please like and subscribe to get notifications of future videos. Thanks and happy weaving.